Hey, welcome to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Steve. Steve. During political campaigns, many songs are used at events, whether it be to pump up the crowd or sometimes to emphasize a political point. Like when your name is Mitt Romney, and during the event, the song Panic Switch is played to, you know, infer that we're in a, a state of panic. He's, he's the switch. I'm not gonna explain symbolism and metaphors to you. Panic Switch is a song written by the Silver Sun Pickups, and currently the band has issued a cease and desist order and released a statement essentially denouncing the campaign. Frontman Bright Albert stated, We don't like people going behind our backs using our music without asking, and we don't like the Romney campaign. We're nice, approachable people. We won't fight unless you're Mitt Romney. Ooh, burn! Mm. Need some water for that or some Neosporin? I would love some Neosporin. Some triple antibiotic ointment? Romney spokeswoman Andrea Saul told Huffington Post that the song was inadvertently played and it will not be played again, and that permission was not asked for by the campaign because it was under a blanket licensing agreement. Sure, I'm sure that's true, but the band goes on to suggest that Romney's use of the single was ironic, and that he was playing a song that describes his whole campaign, and that they don't really think that the song is sending the message he necessarily wants it to. And by all means, this is not the first time something like this has happened. Musicians and politicians consistently clash when it comes to using their songs in order to promote the other's campaign. Like when Tom Petty made Michelle Bachman stop using American Girl, or when Springsteen didn't like Reagan's use of Born in the USA, or when Hart didn't like McCain using Barracuda for the McCain-Palin campaign, or Foo Fighters didn't like McCain using My Hero for his campaign. Campaign. Or when Jackson Brown sued McCain, the RNC, and the state of Ohio for using running on empty without his permission. McCain, you gotta get better people on your music choices, bro. And sure, it's not just the fact that songs are being used without their permission. A lot of the frustration lies heavily on the fact that these bands would never endorse that candidate. And when that candidate uses their song, it infers that they do. It comes down to more than a copyright law. It's also the idea or involuntarily endorsing something. Right, it would be like if I wrote a song called Let Em Go and they used it for a puppy murder ad. Or if I wrote a song called Nimble Fingers and they used it to promote child labor, which they, they do on occasion in certain countries. Hey Steve, what would your campaign song be? Oh, if I got full permission, like if I had all the opportunity, if I could choose any song in the world. All of iTunes. You can go your own way by Fleetwood Mac. You know why? Because it's so good. You can go your own way. Go your own way. You can call it nothing, nothing day. You should learn it before you use it. Okay, well that's beside the point. I would use it because I don't really have a real stance on anything. What about you? Uh, mine would be Undone the Sweater Song by Weezer because I think the country is just falling apart in like a super emo, like heartbroken way. Plus, there's, I think there's like two solos in that song and some really cool ad libbing in the beginning. It's track five on the blue album if you want to pick it up. It's really good. Yeah, but I can never understand what they were saying in the beginning. It's like dudes hanging out at a party or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what would your campaign song be? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, you can like, you can subscribe, you can click this annotation for our five daily stories, and don't forget, you can continue to send us in photos of you with your source-fed gear, and we will take those photos and put them up on our wall because we like looking at you. Yeah. We really do, okay? I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Steve Zargo. We'll see you tomorrow for Comment Commentary. If you want to destroy my sweater, so, so you can good go, album. yeah, oh.